Hi folks, it's Matthew, and I'm back, and this time we've got another, a new video, um, this is my second video of the game, uh, of Messiah 2, and in this video we're on the map called, uh, Dobell, or Dobell, however you say that, and, uh, basically, uh, this map I'm playing has one route in it, and you can go, there's two ways you can go. One way is the shore way I'm going today, um, which goes from one place to another. I'll tell you in a second. There's another route you can do, which is much more remote, which goes has very few stops and takes about an hour to do. Uh, I'm doing a short one for this video. Um, but anyway, so let's continue. This bus we're driving is called the. It's called. Uh, let me check. The Setara, Setara bus, and you can see this is the route 719, and the destination is Dobel or Smytel or something. Uh, and this is, as I said, as I said, this is the shorter route. Uh, so anyway, let's get going. Um, so it's seven four minutes, we're seven minutes early, but that doesn't really matter. So. What you need to do is release the parking brake and then put it in drive by pressing the D key and go left like this. And also, because we're in snow, we need to turn on the wipers as well, which is the W key. Anyway, so this map is, you know, it has challenges in it. It has challenges in it. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna sort of the audio when we get into the first stop, which is here. Yeah, I don't know where the temperature controls are in this bus, so that's just that is a slight problem. Yeah, that's a good one. So this current stuff is called um, Ban Wal Da Ban -o. and you see the destination as I said is Dobel Horse Might. Um, we're five minutes early, but that really does not matter that much. But as I said, I haven't got a clue where the temperature controls are in this vehicle. All I know is these other lights. Uh, yeah, and as I said, I can't see any temperature controls. So that is a slight itch, but it's not that big of a deal. But anyway, so let's get on the move. Yeah, 
and driving on snow is not the easiest in the task of the world due to all the sliding and whatever. But it's not that big. It's not that hard, so it can be done. This car kind of keep going slow and whatever. Careful, basically. It's uh, left, no, right here. Yeah, as I said, this would be a lot easier in the dry, but this is also, as I said earlier, one of two routes. This route is a lot easier in the dry than it is in snow, but especially the one, especially the other route is a lot easier in non-snowy conditions than it is in snowy conditions. I'm using push to talk at the moment for some random reason, so uh, it is a bit hard to hold my key, my button, my finger on the push to talk button, as well as it is hard to, you know, steer wherever. But I, sh I can manage just about. So more about this bus, it was um, first produced in 1983 until 1994, um, I believe it uses a Mercedes and MAN engine, um, which is why it sounds very similar to the MAN bus in the standard one in the game. Um, the horn's the same, but yeah, the sounds of it are very similar. Uh, for whatever reason. Um, probably because it has the same engine as, as I said. Um, but anyway. Um, and I don't know what its replacement was or whether it has a replacement, but it is pretty decent for its age. It works fine, and I'd say I'd definitely recommend it now try and put a link down to it below and I'll try and give you a link to this map as well because it is pretty nice this map it's not too hard to install The manual version of this vehicle, it comes in two variants, manual and automatic, and it comes with the electric IBIS display or roll bands. Um, and actually, the manual is quite interesting to drive, to say the least. You can hear that ABS kick in. Thank you. 
So we put the wheel back on and zoom. But the ABS, as you hear, that clicking noise is the ABS. Yeah, so my plans for doing train simulator are a bit screwed because the train simulator graphics now are completely messed up. Um, so it keeps changing and won't stay to what I had it set to, which is very annoying. So I'll see if I can figure it out, but it's a challenge. In snow, as you can see, especially in this game, you gotta drive carefully. You can't sort of, you are sort of not apply full throttle, but sort of gradually apply, gradually apply it. I wanted to do a video of a map called In Innsbruck or something like that, but that doesn't seem to work for some reason. Luckily, that was the right way. But this boss is pretty, it's very nice, so yeah, I'll definitely try and link it below for you to download. The weird thing with this map is these stops are not on our timetable, but they just seem to make you go there anyway. Yeah, that heating control is kind of working, but not, is there not any way you can increase that? Yeah, this map isn't the easiest to navigate, but I have only been playing it a couple of days, so hopefully I'll learn it better eventually. And you can see why there I don't have collisions on, because I'll crash into everything. Much. And 
I do hope I'm going the right way. I hope I am. At least I think I am. Losing concentration slightly. This map reminds me of seeing this little map in a couple of videos called Ro Romaberg, which is about as challenging as this map, apparently. At least it looks very challenging in snow. That was definitely not the way to go because that's a dead end. So hopefully this is the way this is the way to go. Here we are, finally. Good morning. Hello. Yeah, so we're here for four minutes, but we'll leave in a second anyway. It's nice how the vehicle gets dirty. I 
the throttle control in snow, as I said, is very hard to do. I don't think this is one of our stops. Maybe it is. But damn, these brakes are so bad. You may have to start using the handbrake to brake as well as just the brakes. These brakes in this weather are not up to it. I don't know how long I've been recording this video for, but I'm actually just going to take a while, even though this is the shorter route. That shows you don't go the speed limit in snow on a bend. Actually, the next stops E Shabora, which is one of the last stops by the look of it, so that's that's okay. And here we come to a very challenging road. That is about eight kilometers long uphill. we've managed to somewhat warm the bus up to 8 degrees celsius still that's quite cold As you can see, that speedo there is the same speedo that's in the uh, man D90 and D10. 
D92, I think, and D91. going one speed constantly. Luckily, after this stop, there's only two more, two more left. But it could take a while to get off this road. As you can see, my FPS at the moment is brilliant. You know, it's okay. It is interesting how it doesn't seem to want to change gear, though we don't really need it to change gear at the moment, we just want to kind of stay at this speed. Though trying to do this in a bendy bus would be an absolute pain. Not in the drive, in the snow, it would be a pain. This engine is working so hard, so you've got to give it some credit. Yeah, overall, this uh, this bus is doing well. It's maintaining speed, which is pretty cool.
finally changed gear to the point we had to slow down. That, the, what the announcer man just said then is uh, second to last stop. But I think this has been a very, very long video, so I apologise for that. I can't actually split it into two parts as it takes then too long to upload because of the editing problems I have usually with that. Oh god, oh god, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow, slow down. Barely kept on the road. Jeez. Drift this thing. Oh, I've never been on a bus in real life that's done that, but I imagine if you did do that, the passengers would be pretty scared. Having the lights on to see where you're going really does not help at all. Yep, that is our last stop, what the announcer just said. Uh, oh well. 
So I think we did okay. Anyway, so that is the end. Uh, uh, so I hope you enjoyed that. I know it's been a pretty long recording, but you know, could have been longer. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that video. Uh, do make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Tell me if you want more. Hopefully, I'll try and do a shorter video eventually, but we'll have to see what happens. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Um, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Share with your friends. Much love. Uh, see you next time. Thanks.